I'd like to uh, start by saying that I'm really excited to be here in Atlanta. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Blank and, and his family, uh, Thomas, Coach Smith, uh, Rich McKay, everybody here associated with the Falcons for giving me this opportunity. Um, I look forward to becoming a part of the Atlanta community and, and uh, getting involved and, and, and getting to know everyone here. Um, yesterday was a whirlwind. I couldn't be more happy with where I ended up. And, I guess with that, I'll open it up to everyone's questions. D. Uh Yeah, Matt. Uh, Tom, could you take us back through yesterday and the kind of whirlwind uh, trip that you know brought you here today from the uh, lecture to you know, what went on yesterday? Yeah, I was I was up in New York for the draft. Um, was with my family and uh, kind of was sitting backstage when I got the call. Uh, first spoke to to Thomas and. Um, he, he let me know that I was going to become a Falcon, and uh, I was pretty excited about that. My face got beat red, as it usually does when I uh, get all fired up. And uh, then had the opportunity to, to speak with Coach Smith and, and Mr. Blank. And, um, you know, as soon as I walked out onto that stage, it, it kind of really felt like it was happening. I mean, that was the first time it really felt real. And um, after that, just a whirlwind media tour. And then a flight down to Atlanta, uh, home, a flight home. And um, then I'm here today at, at this press conference now. Could you share with us some of the um, things that uh, Coaches Malarkey and Musgrave were trying to stuff you on on the, uh, the board session you all had, Coach Coach, about yesterday? Uh, we were up in, in Boston and uh, had the opportunity to sit down and, and talk a little football. And um, Bill Musgrave and, and Mike Malarkey just really I don't think they were trying to stump me. I just wanted to see, or I think they just wanted to see what I knew. And um, enjoyed that meeting. Uh, a lot of it was just base football protections, formations, route combinations, progressions, all that kind of stuff. And, and I really enjoyed that meeting. Hey, Matt, how much uh, sleep have you gotten? <laughs> so like 30 minutes or? I slept good last night, I'll tell you that much. I slept really well last night. Um, prior to that, uh, you just don't know where you're going to end up in the draft process. So for the past couple of days, um, you know, two or three hours here and there, uh, kind of waking up in the middle of the night wondering where you're going to be. And, and uh, last night was nice uh, just to know that uh, I'm a part of this organization. I'm an Atlanta Falcon, and, and um, you know, I couldn't be happier. Do you know any of the uh, current Falcons or familiar with any of their personnel? Uh, just briefly, um, as a fan in the past, kind of followed what they've done in the offseason, but haven't gotten a chance to meet any of the players besides Sam. Uh, really enjoyed getting to know him. Uh, I'm happy and, and want to congratulate him because it's an awesome opportunity for both of us. Um, but no, I, have, I haven't really gotten to meet anybody yet, uh, but really look forward to getting back down here and, and uh, getting started on, on preparing for next year. Matt, a lot of talk from, from Arthur and Thomas and Mike regarding the, uh, the community reaching out. Um, how important is it for you as the number one, the figurehead player in this organization to, to you know, make sure that everything, not only from yourself, but the character of this team is going to be, you know, the way it should be. Well, I think the organization has made a commitment to, to bringing in high character people, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of that. As far as being a part of the Atlanta community, I think it's something that was always important to me while I was at BC, uh, being involved, uh, being out there, and, and trying to reach out and help. Um, I don't think that will change in Atlanta. I'm excited to be down here uh, to get to know uh, new people and to become involved in different people's lives. And um, really, I just can't wait to get this whole thing started. I'm, I'm so happy to be here and um, can't wait to be back down for mini camp in two weeks and, and start the football, start the, with the work in the community. It's uh, very exciting. Thank you.